Hello everyone, welcome to my next video on Java Concurrency which is 1115 printing foobar alternatively. Um, in this video we are asked to print foobar alternatively. So there's gonna be two threads uh, uh, on the test lead code test code side that will invoke our code and one thread will invoke foo and other th thread will invoke bar in parallel. And what we need to make sure is that uh, depending on what the value of n is we print that many foo bars right so if n is one we print one foo bar if n is two we print foo bar foo bar so we don't have to print something like foo foo bar bar or foo bar bar foo uh, it should be alternating foo bar foo bar uh, the n number of times so the in the previous video we introduced the concept of countdown latches and uh, if you haven't watched that yet, I recommend watching that so you can understand what a countdown latch is and how we used it to solve a simpler problem. Uh, I've linked that in the description also. And for this problem, uh, what we will do is use a similar concept where we want, uh, let's say for the nth foo bar, we want the nth bar to print before the nth foo. And for the n plus one th foo we want it to print after the nth bar so the nth bar waits for the nth foo and the n plus one foo waits for the nth bar so the way we'll do this is we'll create two countdown two arrays of countdown latches with size n um, and we'll make their respective foo, foo and bar wait for those uh, for the corresponding arrays. So let's start by creating our arrays. So we'll have a uh, countdown latch uh, latches after foo. This will be an array of size n, and then we'll have another array of just latches after bar. So we'll set our latches after foo to a new countdown latch array of size n and we'll set our latches after bar to the same thing and we'll initialize all the latches to we'll initialize all the latches to latches of count one so we'll say latch set foo at i is equal to new countdown latch one and similarly for bar so we have created now n latches with the count set to one uh, and put them in array latches after foo and latches after bar so for bar it's pretty simple we have to wait for latches after foo at i right so before printing the, the ith bar we have to wait for the ith foo and after printing the ith foo we just count down uh we just count it down so after it prints the ith foo this will be counted down and then we print the ith bar it will go back wait for the next foo uh, when the next foo completes it will count down and similarly we want the foo the next foo to print only after the previous bar is done so basically if i is greater than zero so meaning if it's not the first foo then we have to wait for the previous bar so we have to wait for uh, the i minus one bar before printing the, the next foo if it's not the first foo so in order for uh, okay we need to put await here and then in order for and then here after we complete the after we complete the bar we count down this and then when we count down this the next foo will then be able to run because this will be then waiting on the previous bars countdown so let's run this and see how it does
bad code accepted let's submit cool it works uh, so thank you so much for watching and see you in the next concurrency video